Hi, this is Bijumax. Welcome to my blog, bijumax.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to show how to consume a web service from a MATLAB application. Uh, for, uh, for this demo, I have created a sample uh, GUI, currency converter um, GUI application. Let me open that, currency converter GUI dot fig. Let's see here. This is a simple uh, GUI uh, which I have created with the help of guide tool for this demo. Uh, let me run this so that we'll get a better idea. So uh, this is my currency converter GUI which I am going to use this uh, for this demo. Uh, I have added some currency, uh, five currencies here. You can add more. Um, now there's a text box which will uh, display the currency exchange rate and there's a convert button here nothing happens so we have to add code uh, under this callback convert button click uh, callback function so basically uh, when we click the convert uh, uh, button it will uh, hit the uh, uh, web service uh, method and it'll pull out the uh, uh, currency rate available okay we close this okay now matlab uh, uh, provides a function uh, which helps us to create a proxy classes MATLAB equivalent proxy classes of a visitor. So we'll uh, use that function. For this demo, I am using a web service ex.com currency converter dot asmx. That is our uh, web service for this demo. Now this is a class. Uh, I mean this is a function create class from visitor. So, which will basically creates a proxy, MATLAB equivalent proxy class. So, let's let's execute this command. Okay, it's created a currency converter class. So, let's go to the working directory here. You can see here the uh, a folder which uh, begins with adrate currency converter, which is a MATLAB uh, class notation. And you can see here a currency converter dot m and con conversion rate dot m and a default uh, display dot m. These are automatically created uh, uh, by the uh, MATLAB. These are our uh, uh, this is our proxy class and the uh, these are the uh, methods available in that web service. So we'll first open that currency converter dot m. Uh, you can see here. It's actually an object uh, with the two properties endpoint. Endpoint is nothing but our uh, ASMX, uh, and the visual is nothing but the the actual visual we have used, and uh, creating a class with name currency converter, and the conversion rate is the actual method that that is actually uh, uh, used for this uh, demo. So you can see here conversion rate, which accepts uh, object. Object is nothing but the class, actual class, and the from and uh, to currency. So uh, here you can see that uh, <coughs> a SOAP message is created, and uh, it's actually uh, submitted that SOAP message and uh, get the uh, response and pass the response and return the results. This is what basically it does. So if your web service has uh, say three methods three equivalent dot m files will be created so if for example method one method uh, two and method three um, the equivalent proxy class will be matlab proxy uh, will be method one dot m method two dot m and method three dot m so those things are automatically taken by care by the matlab now let's uh, use this particular proxy to make the actual uh, web service call so this is our let me open the m file this is our uh, con currency converter gui dot m and this is our callback function so let me uh, copy paste uh, some code which i already uh, brought this for this demo okay and you can see that I have to create uh, uh, instantiate the object so I'm doing that uh, by just uh, invoking the currency converter uh, name and I'm getting a selected value from uh, the uh, drop down list that is from currency and current uh, to currency 
now i'm using the actual uh, function conversion rate this is the uh, actual web service method call uh, i have to pass the uh, service which is our currency converter and the from currency and to currency now and it returns a value now i am setting that value uh, in that uh, text box so let's uh, let's run this program and see uh, what's the result here so i'm going to convert a uh, usd to jpy you can see in 98.415 yen that is one USD is uh, 98.415 yen. I'm, I'm not sure about the accuracy of this particular uh, rate, but uh, just for this demo, we actually don't care about the uh, the, the actually uh, the rate of what basically that web service method returns. See the 47.475. Uh, let me let me open uh, currency converter online currency converter and let me see how how much is uh, okay so indian to indian rupees let, let, let's see convert now okay it's 48.0231 indian rupee this is the latest rate and uh, minimum price 47.5 yeah we are almost close to that that price okay that's fine that's fine that's fine uh, okay so that's it for this demo so I just explained the magic function here the create class from wisdom and how to like use methods in the uh, web service methods in your matlab.m file so hope you enjoy uh, see you soon uh, i will actually uh, uh, will post this code currency converter dot converter gui dot m for your reference in my blog so that you can easily pick up uh, when you when you after watching my video okay thanks thanks for uh, listening